every objectives can only have one strategy is how do we structure the overall business so that all its parts being first and being a visionary is a strategy it's all about who are you going to target and what are you going to offer them so uh, very quickly i personally think strategy is relatively easy uh easy to understand but it's very 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 hard to execute uh, uh, very well on strategy so let me just share with you um what i think of strategy and this is based on a lot of work that's uh, been done over the many many years there are several models but fundamentally strategy is about choosing which segments you're going to go after which customer segments you're going to go after and which segments you are not going to go after that's the, that's the starting point of strategy and related to that is the idea of what is your uh, value proposition to the chosen customers that you've selected it's really as simple as that who are you going to go after and what are you going to offer them that your competitors can't offer and therefore customers will be forced to buy your offerings rather than uh, somebody else's offerings it's really as simple as that in my view and uh, and underneath this there are other uh, decisions very important decisions that have to be made like what's the organization what kind of people you're going to hire what kind of metrics you're going to have to evaluate them what processes you're going to have uh, how are you going to organize who are you going to partner with what are you going to make what are you going to outsource all those things but fundamentally it's all about who are you going to target and what are you going to offer them that others cannot offer as well as you and of course there's the economic model that you have to layer in over that but the really difficult part is the unsaid part and this is what i've learned over i don't know decades of uh, speaking with uh, managers uh, reading stuff i was a consultant at one point in time so the thing that i've learned uh, over the years is why is strategy hard number one it's very hard because it forces you to make choices you have to choose i will go after one set of customers and i will not go after another set of customers and that's painful because when you say i'm not going to target somebody else you are quote unquote in your mind giving up something and that's really really painful but if you don't make that choice you're going to diffuse your resources across multiple uh, segments and that that is not very good same thing with value proposition you know am i a high end player am i competing on reliability am i competing on process efficiencies am i competing on cost you got to choose and that hurts and and that's what makes strategy difficult the second part that makes strategy difficult is coherence so you got these different elements you know who are my customers what's my value prop what's my organization what kind of people am i am going to be uh, including in my organization these things have to fit together and if they don't fit together execution becomes difficult and people start tinkering with all sorts of things and before you know it you don't even have a strategy so that's very hard the third thing that makes it very difficult is a uh, uh, lack of stability over time really 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 difficult you know every startup starts off very focused a clear vertical a clear value proposition but then it starts growing and as actually so many folks in in mid market uh, on this call as you start growing what happens is you start off by three people then you have 10 people then you have 500 people then you have 1000 people these 1000 people are not wedded to the strategy at all they don't even know what the strategy is in their gut you know when you're a startup you know it in your gut but when you grow you don't and before you know it people start tinkering with oh let me go after these customers as well oh let me offer this thing too as well oh let me offer solutions rather than uh, what i'm offering right now and before you know it 
uh, there is no strategy in the company. And for that reason, actually, there's a very interesting uh, thing that I learned. Uh, there's, a, there's a thing called the doctrine. Some companies like Apple, some pharma companies, life sciences companies, they have culled principles uh, from their experiences and created a doctrine. And that doctrine will be followed by everybody. It's enshrined, it's you know, put on a wall, everybody sees it. So it's principles like, like Apple, for example, says we will never try to catch up with our competitors. We will always leapfrog them. We won't just catch up with them. We will leapfrog them. Now that's a principle. It's enshrined, everybody knows it. Uh, another principle is we will cannibalize our products. And, and I know there's a lot that's been talked about, but it's one thing to talk about. It's another thing to enshrine it, put it on a wall and adhere to it, no matter where in the company you are. So that's another problem. Fourth problem that I've found is lack of, uh, lack of relatedness across different activities. And the best example I can think of after all these decades, GE, even with its three divisions, it finally split up because there was nothing connecting these, uh, these different businesses together. Um, anyway, and then the last thing I'd like to sort of say is that strategy is not just about responding to the marketplace. It's also about changing the marketplace to suit your needs. So you influence customers, you influence competitors, you influence regulation such that you can thrive. Mm -hmm.